coin on. Hey there, YouTube coin community. It's Dustin with CoinOp, and today we are going to take a look at a very super rare double die that is up for auction over in Stacks and Bowers right now. And then we're also going to take a look at a viewer submitted double die that was found just this morning. So let's dive right on in. If you were to head over to Stacks and Bowers website, which I will post links to everything down in the comments so that you can find exactly what it is that I'm talking about. But if you were to head over to Stacks and Bowers website, you will find that they have quite a few just amazing auctions going on right now. And one auction in particular really caught my interest. So if you were to head over there and if you were to click on their Rarities Night auction, that'll be March 2018 in Baltimore. It's Thursday the 22nd of March. If you were to click on that auction, you will see some amazing coins. There's a 1969S double die adverse. There's just some really cool Aaron variety coins that are in this auction, along with just gorgeous, beautiful coins. But the one that really struck my attention, and for me, this is a dream coin. They have one of the three 1958 double die adverse Lincoln cents up for auction. If you are not familiar with this very strong double die, I have featured it in other videos, but there are only three of these in known existence. People have been searching for this for quite some time and only three of these have ever turned up. I strongly suggest you search for this. If you do happen to find one of these, it is literally hitting the jackpot. But the 1958 double die adverse, it is listed as 1958 FS101 or DDO-001, depending on which attribution site you are looking at. This is a very strong double die. It is rated right up there with the 1969S and with the 1955 double die adverse. It is just as strong. This is a class one double die where doubling shows the strongest on Liberty and on In God We Trust. Now, doubling can be seen on the date, but it is much, much more minor compared to Liberty and In God We Trust. What's actually really cool is if you look at In God We Trust, starting on the far left, going all the way to the right, you can actually see the doubling getting more mild as it goes over to the right side of the coin. And I love seeing that. Now, as I stated, there are only three of these in known existence. This is a super rare, very strong, extremely popular double die. Because of its extreme rarity though, not too many people seem to know about it. Now, a lot of the books, cherry pickers, and all the publications always do include this, but because of how rare it is, people will often not look for it or just choose to overlook it. And I know I always check for these. I definitely always look. This is a naked eye visible variety. So you do not need a jeweler's loop to see this. You can see this with the naked eye. So this is a beautiful, really, really strong double die that you can see with the naked eye. And as I stated, there are only three known examples. There are two that are graded by PCGS in an MS-64. And then there is one that is graded by PCGS in an MS-65. We are looking at one of the examples that is graded by PCGS in an MS-64. Now, even though the auction, the live auction doesn't even start until March 22nd, online bidding on this coin has already started. And if you look, the coin is already up to $75,000 in bidding. If you were to head over to PCGS price guide and take a look and see what kind of value PCGS puts on this coin, well, you will see that examples for PCGS start out at around 125,000 and they estimate them upwards of around $250,000. So I know I am definitely going to be watching this auction. I want to see what this puppy ends up selling for. For me, this is definitely a dream coin. I would love to just be able to look at one of these, examine one of these. If I had my jeweler's loop or my USB microscope in that coin for 20 minutes, I would be in absolute heaven just looking at it. This is a dream coin to me. So I will be watching this auction 
really closely. I will put a link to the coin itself in Stacks and Bowers auction and to Stacks and Bowers website. So that way you can go over and check out their website or you can just also click on the coin and just watch the coin. Okay, now we are gonna take a look at a viewer submitted coin. I was talking to Victor Cruz this morning from Flea Market Coin Hunters, and he sent me some images of a 1964 double dyed reverse Lincoln cent, it's listed as FS801 or DDR-001. And he found this beautiful 1964 double die reverse Lincoln sent this morning while coin searching. I know he did find a few other varieties while coin searching, but I wanted to show everybody this one real quick. Now he sent me a whole bunch of images of it. I'm only just showing you a small handful of the images that he sent me, but uh, I'm sure he'll end up showing in one of his videos some of the images of his coin so i will link you down to his youtube channel if you do not follow victor cruz with flea market coin hunters make sure you go on over check out his channel tell him coin op sent you tell him that you saw his beautiful 1964 double die reverse now the reason i wanted to show this 1964 double die reverse is even though these aren't exceptionally valuable they do carry value but nothing extreme this is a pretty tough double die to find these are pretty scarce, they're hard to find. So while you are coin searching, make sure you flip over your 1964 Lincoln Sense and check for this beautiful double die reverse. Now, if you happen to find one of these beautiful double die reverses while you are coin searching, you can expect them to trade in circulated conditions between around $20 upwards of about $40 to $50. In uncirculated examples, you can expect to fetch between $45 and upwards of $200 to $250 for a really nice high grade example. So congratulations, Victor Cruz over at Flea Market Coin Hunters for finding a very beautiful double die reverse. Well, everyone, we definitely hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely hope you enjoyed seeing an extreme rarity with the Lincoln Scent series up in auction over there at Stacks and Bowers, that 1958 double die adverse listed as FS101. That is just a beautiful, beautiful double die. I'm gonna be following that auction. As I had stated, I will post links down in the comments and in the description so that you can find all of that stuff. Make sure you go check out my buddy Victor Cruz over on his channel. And again, tell him that CoinOps sent you and congratulate him on his beautiful double die reverse that he found this morning while coin searching. And if you enjoyed this video, do us a huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. The more that you interact with our channel, the more it encourages YouTube to share our content with more and more people. Also by subscribing. If you are not yet subscribed to our channel, click on that subscribe button. And while you are at it, click on the bell. That way you get notified immediately when we upload new content. Well, everyone, until next time, have fun.